starter. He was banged up, and uh, the Huskies chose to start Nick Montana, limiting Price to just some fourth quarter play. But Steve Sarkeesian saying healthy, ready to go this week, and Polk, who has been a huge factor in the last two Apple Cups, he doesn't peek in on the running game. A toss on third and one, but the Cougars stretch that out, and Washington State defends the man who has absolutely shredded them, Holt, the last two years of this rivalry game. Well, right away, Washington comes out a lot of quick snaps. They get the ball out, but credit that Washington State defense on the edge. They were able to hold up on the edge. Who have just been handcuffed on offense so far. Rolling out, Lobestar. And he gets a positive play as he finds the senior wide receiver, Jared Karstetter, who catching that pass. Kaomu got that sack on Lobestar, so it's now third and five. And he's got a man open in the post and a big time catch. And credit the throw as well to Bobby Ratliff. And Lobestar comes through with his. First big game of the night, 27 in a first down. Lobestall had his choice either of Ratliff or he could have gone the other way to Christoph Williams. Both were open. Inside give to Polk and he got run down from behind. Averaging almost five yards a run against Washington. And where they're getting him is on the edge. With their and there they go again. Marcus Mason gets outside. Sean Parker drags him down, but not until Mason puts Washington State at the 23. Check long. And Washington State stuffs that play up. Brandon Rankin. What they do with Josh Shirley and how he gets up the field to get the quarterback. Shirley rushing outside right. And Lobestal delivers a first down play. Marquise Wilson. Tried to reverse back and stretch the play. Nate Fellner is a solid safety for the Huskies. Made the play. other coaches ask us about it. Yeah, they, they, he shows up on tape to them. Meanwhile, here's the steady senior on the other end. Young man who's playing his final football game. He's going to dental school. Jared Karstetter. Galvin back in. First carry since his fumble. And he gets outside and runs it to the 44 of Washington. We saw a nice catch. That was a wild snap again. And Lobestall called it in. Now he's going to throw a swing pass to Mason. He's got blockers out there. Karstetter, wide receiver out there, pushing and leading the way. And it's a first down to the 32. And borderline field goal range here. The screen nicely set up. Boy, well done by Washington State, and Galvin takes it down near the 10. But sometimes that's just what you call undisciplined play. Well, the mistakes have hurt Washington State in this first half. The Lobos don't make up for it. Yes, he does. A bullet to Karstetter for a Cougar touchdown. Nate Felder could not have played that ball any better without intercepting. Let me take a look. Lobestall throws this ball, comes right over to Karstetter, right in the middle of the field. He does a good job of throwing it in, but look at Nate Felder there, shoulder to shoulder, plays the ball to be a little too high. Third down and short. Another high one. Oh, great adjustment. Galvin showed you a running back sense there to get the first half. The timing for him to get that together, that's awesome. Stetter with a catch across midfield. Well, you, we talk about the, the sense you get. It's a... Lobestall escapes, and he runs for a first down. And that takes a little, uh, a little bravery because you understand the situation for Washington State tonight. They really don't have a backup quarterback, a walk-on son of Keith Gilbertson. Former coach at Washington, the son, the backup at Washington State. And now the Cougars are inside the 30. Andre Lentz, the tight end. What a changeup. 
Does Washington bring pressure? What do they do to stop the momentum? They bring four, but there's Lance open. Well, the Cougars here throwing a little different wrinkle. They've not thrown much to tight ends this year. That's right. And He's looking for Karstetter. No, comes back and gets the touchdown. Marquise Wilson. And suddenly the 6,000 Washington State fans sound like 60. Now, Karstetter runs the same route, the curl. That drew the safety. That opened up the backside hole for Marquise Wilson. And Lobestal got sacked three times in the first half. They try to run, and Winston busts it up the middle. Close to a first down. Galvin, their leading rusher, just 14 yards on seven first half carries. Second and one of play action. And Karstetter, the third and ten. And they convert it. Jam the line of scrimmage. Flashback, some of the games we've seen. You look on this field, and nobody's wearing any form of black. And here's a quick pass, but Alex Hoffman Ellis. He is one of the standouts of the Washington State defense. And he was all over Safarian Jenkins on the third down play. Pressure on the offensive line, you know, causing hazard in the, in the backfield. Yeah, they just really haven't let the Cougars hurt him on the run. Lobestal delivers that. That's a good catch. Just shy of the stick by Karstetter. There's a flag down. First down at the Washington 38. Ball to Wilson. He's got the big boy blocking, and that's all he needed. Wilson got. needs to stop here. Washington pushing. Keith Price having a big passing night. And there they smother Paul. Well, that's good to see for Washington State. Brandon Rankin, who was shaken up earlier in the third quarter, back. He, got, he took a big hit. Now it's third and 13. And he can't get away. Did he lose the ball? He's ruled down. Yeah, he... Umpire, umpire comes in and rules down. Fourth of here. He's from Whidbey Island. This is such a huge game. So many family, extended families and friends that are involved in this state game. And that's just a, we talk, it seems so simple. You throw it up at this point. You've got a game here. Colt again, he runs right to Hoffman Ellis. Also, that's a, Matthew Bach on the defensive line was in there for Washington State. A quick snap, but they're not quite ready for it. Now a direct snap. Shot. Wow, Callier took a big time hit. He barely got back to the line of scrimmage. 